Okay, David's going to read a statement, and then we'll take questions. Thank you. First of all, I'd like to thank you all for coming this morning. To the fans and the lovers of the game who have supported and inspired me on my journey as a cricketer, I want to sincerely apologise for betraying your trust in me. I've let you down badly. I hope in time I can find a way to repay for all you've given me and possibly earn your respect again. To my teammates and support staff, I apologise for my actions and I take full responsibility for my part on what happened in day three in the Newlands test. To Cricket Australia, I apologise for my actions and the effect it has had on our game under your care and control. I want you to know that I fully support your review in the culture of the Australian cricket team. To South Africa, the players, administrators and fans, I apologise unreservedly for my part in this and I'm sorry. I brought the game into disrepute on your soil. South Africa is a fine cricketing nation and deserves better from its guests and deserve better from me. To all Australians, whether you're a cricket fan or not, I apologise for my actions. And I'm sorry for the impact those actions have had on our country's reputation. I can honestly say I've only ever wanted to bring glory to my country through playing cricket. In striving to do so, I've made a decision which has had the opposite effect and it's one that I'll regret for as long as I live. I do realise that I'm responsible for my own actions and the consequences that that brings. It is heartbreaking to know that I'll not be taking the field with my teammates I love and respect and that I have let down. Right now, it is hard to know what comes next, but first and foremost, is, it, is the well-being of my family. In the back of my mind, I suppose there is a tiny ray of hope that I may one day be given the privilege of playing for my country again. But I'm, re I'm resigned to the fact that that may never happen. But in the coming weeks and months, I'm going to look at how this has happened and who I am as a man. To be honest, I'm not sure right now how I'll do this. I will seek out advice and expertise to help me make serious changes. I want to apologise to my family. Especially my wife and daughters. Your love means your love means more than anything to me. I know I would not be anything without you. I'm very sorry for putting you through this and I promise you that I'll never put you in this position again. Before I take questions, I want to again say thank you. I take full responsibility for my part in what happened and I'm deeply sorry for the consequences of what I was involved in. I failed in my responsibilities as Vice-Captain of the Australian Cricket Team. I'll now answer your questions. Camp David, the cruel treatment. It's tough. It's tough for me to talk about where my thought space was on on that day, given the circumstances that happened in Durban. But I'm here to take full responsibility of my actions. 
of the, the part that I played in that happened on day three in, in Newlands, in Cape Town. And I'm extremely sorry. I really, really regret that. And it's going to be a decision that's going to stick with me for the rest of my life. I'm not surprised at all. We, we let our countries down. We made a, a bad decision. I played my part in that. And as I said, it's, it's going to take a long time to earn that respect back from the Australian public. It's really hard to sit here today knowing and seeing my friends, my family, that are playing in South Africa at the moment in this fourth test which I wish that I was a part of. The Australian cricket team and my family. I, I really regret what happened on that day three. As I said, I just really wish that I could be there today that was on that field with them. That's one thing I'm really going to miss for this next 12 months. This <sighs> we know what the consequences are when you make horrible decisions like this. As I said, I'm extremely sorry for my part and my role that I played in this. And I really wish and hope that Steve and Cameron had the same support that I have with me, because it's going to be a tough and emotional time these next 12 months. Steve? Dave. That's something that I'll continue to sit down with my family and weigh up all my considerations before I make any decisions. Can you hand on your heart say that you've never done this in any way? We're mates. We, we've grown up with each other. We, we play on the, we've played on the field for a long time with each other. It's, it's going to be really tough not to be able to partake in the next 12 months, not just with the rest of the team, but with Steve and Cameron. Because we made a decision that was inexcusable yeah. and extremely regrettable. Last one, Matt. Whose idea was it? Whose idea was That's it? That? Thank you. Was it, was it your was idea? Who took the sandpaper? Thank you. Was it your idea? Why won't you answer the question?